TV KPM Ladies and gentlemen the gold award winner Chris MJ Yes yes I knew it Thank you everybody thank you thank you Congrats, congrats. thank you very much sir thank you very much Good Yes job. this Good is job. for you Malaysia oh, Soon let's 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 go for together Alright, adding another trophy to my collection. Nice. Hi everyone, welcome to Slot Tahap Dua only on D-Date TV KPM. My name is Chris MJ and today I'm here with Mr. Warit for Bahasa Inggris. Tahun lima. Hi Mr. Warit, how are you? Hi, hi Chris. I'm doing fine. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much for the, the, the trophy by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. excited mm -hmm. for it. And also pupils, today we also have Mr. Adli as our sign language interpreter for today's episode. Hi, Mr. Adli. All right. Okay. So for our next, sorry. Okay. So as usual for today's class, we are not alone. Yes. We do have some classmates joining us on Google Meet. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Warit, could you please introduce yeah. our friends today? True. Let's call our friends on Google Meet today. All right. Hi, everyone. Hi. So we have Adik Fatini Irdina. Hi Adik Fatini. Hi Fatini. Okay. Then we have Adik Ame. Hi Ame. Hi Ame. Next we have Adik Balkis. Hi Balkis. Hi Balkis. Smile a bit, smile. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least we have Adik Akil. Hi Akil. Hi Akil. All right. Okay. Well, and, I, I and, like and to... one thing, oh, what, what? Uh, Chris, they are yeah. from SK Kubang Krian 3, Kota Baru, ah, Kelantan. Okay. Hi everyone. Are you ready for today's class? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So Mr. Warit, I'm excited. They are excited when everyone is ready. What are we actually learning today? So, you know, Chris, yeah. when people say that um, reading is an easy thing, but it's only easy because you have the skill. Mm. Uh, but in order for you to have the skill, you need to learn the strategy. Right. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to condition ourselves with several strategies that we can use when we want to find specific information in the text. Okay. Uh, that's what we're going to do today. All right. And for our first activity, okay, we are going to do... Choose the best sentence. Ah, All right. Okay. Okay. So for in this activity, we are going to look at the picture, and then we are going to choose the correct sentence that represent the picture. All right. Mm. If I ask you, Chris, yeah. how are you going to go about with this activity? Um, we are supposed to. What choose is your strategy? My strategy yeah. is to look at the picture. Okay and read both answers first mm -hmm. okay. and then only select the answer. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we have to do, okay, when we have this kind of activity ah. is to create the setting in our mind. Okay. All right. So in order to ask for, in order to create the setting, we should ask the WH questions. WH questions. WH questions okay. such as what, who, when, why and how. For example, uh, what can we see in the picture? Mm. Okay. Um, like, uh, do we see a boy, do we see a kid, how many of them, where they are, and then what kind of situations are they in? All right. Like, in this picture, we can see the girl, we can see the boy, and we can also see the weather. But the picture doesn't tell us about the setting or where they are. Right. Uh, in reading, you have to be very careful. Okay? If the setting is not being given to you, you cannot assume. Right, ah, right, right. Okay. You have to read from the text, you have to understand from the picture. Then we have to analyze the sentences. Okay? But in this context, we want to find the differences. Okay? Like it could be the differences at the subject of the sentence, it could be the difference at the verbs of the sentence, or it could be the difference at the object of the sentences. Now, in this case, we can see the difference at the word friend. Ah. ah, so the first sentence, 
use the term friend in singular mode. Yeah. And the second sentence use uh, the word friends in plural, plural mode. Okay. So if we go back to the picture just now, uh, they uh, is the girl playing with many friends or is the girl playing with only one friend? Mm. Mm. So for this one, I believe the best answer would be the A. The e. girl is playing badminton with her friend because in the picture there is only one friend. Right. All right. right. Okay. Right. Okay. Now let's go with the next activity. Okay, kids, bring up your mini whiteboard. Now, based on this picture, okay, can you choose the best sentence that represent them? Okay. All right. Is it A, the boy who is wearing uh, a blue shirt is swimming in the sea? Or is it the girl in a green swimming suit is in the pool? Okay. Which one is so, the correct or the best sentence to represent the, the picture, picture there? Okay, and, and remember like what Mr. Warik just shared with us, we have mm. to analyze the picture. Yes, analyze the picture. And then only analyze the sentences. Good. Right. Now, do you have the answers? So is it A or B? You can show mm. us on the camera. You can show your answers on the camera, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Show your whiteboard. Okay, they don't have to write the whole sentence, no, right? No, no, no. So just whether it's A or okay. it's B. A or B. Mm. Oh, some say A. Oh, some, some say, say B. Okay, A. Some say it's B. Uh, Akil, oh, Akil, 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 no, no, Akil no, is, is like my answer. Uh, I, that's not my, uh, my confirm answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, right, so okay. everyone show your answers. Okay, everyone show us your answers. All right, so everyone say it's B. The girl in a green swimming suit is in the in the pool. Okay, now let's ask perhaps uh, Buckets. Buckets, um, why do you say B is the answer, not A? Because <clears throat> the boy is not swimming in the sea. Okay, good. Well done. You can justify your answer. Good job. Yeah, it's true. In this picture, the boy is not in the sea, but the boy is in the pool. The pool. Okay. okay, let's go with another one. All right. So good job, everyone got good, it correct, yeah, right? Yeah, everyone got okay, it good correct. Good job, everyone. Okay, the last one for this one, this activity. Now, the girl is hunting in the forest or the girl is aiming to score for bull's eye. <gasps> mm. Wow, very, Which very one? similar. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so everyone watching at home right. as well, you can try yep. this activity together with Mr. Warid, okay? Mm -mm. All right. Is it A or is it B? Okay, everyone, can you show me the answer? Okay, once you write A or B, you can show us your answer on the camera. Mm. So we have B. Okay. What about Akil? Okay, Akil is also B. Okay, good job, everyone. Now, before I tell you the answers, yeah. Okay. Now let's ask Ame Harris. Ame, why do you say the answer is B in this context? Because he's not, because she not is, uh, she not hunting the, for, the forest. Yeah, because she's not hunting the deer. She's actually aiming for the bullseye. If you look carefully in the picture, that girl is actually aiming for the board. And, yeah. yeah. It, okay. Okay. Uh, so you're not hunting the deer, but yeah, the bullseye. All right. So, so how did our pupils do for this activity? So our students did very well in this because they managed to find the specific information based on the pictures presented to them. There so you they did go. good job. Well good. done, everyone. Yay, good okay. job, everybody. Okay, before we proceed any further, how about we take a short break, so is that okay? Yeah, why not? All right, so pupils watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back only on Tahap Dua, Didet TV, KPM. Did you know, over the years, Malaysia has produced many amazing athletes such as Datuk Nicole and David, Tan Sri Dr. M. Jagatisan, Datuk Lee Chong Wei, Datuk Muhammad Azizul Hasniawang, and more. Didik TV KPM Hi everyone, welcome to Slot Tahap Duo with me, Chris MJ, as well as Mr. Warit for Bahasa Inggris. Now, today our topic is sports. And uh, Mr. Warit, without further ado, I am excited. Our friends on Google Meets, as well as those watching at home, are excited as well. What are we going to be learning next? All right, thank you very much, Chris. 
for our next activity, we are going to condition ourselves. Ooh, okay. We're going to condition ourselves with good reading habits, especially when we're dealing with two short texts. Okay. okay. So in order to do two short texts, you need to do first reading, and after that, you need to look at the questions or the tasks given to you, and then you need to do the second reading in order to find the answer. Okay. And then you need to justify the answers, whether it is a key or whether it is a distractor. All right. Uh, so these are the condition stages that we're going to go through in this uh, segment. Okay, so okay. is everyone ready? If you're ready, give me a big smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, over to you, Mr. Wari. All right. So for the first part of our activity, we are going to listen to and read the text together. So listen to the audio and read together. Okay. When I was in school, I played every sport I could. I really liked working out, and I also liked being on a team. We had a lot of fun together. We took the bus to our games, and when we won, we had parties. Then, three years ago, I was in a terrible car accident and hurt my leg. It's not better yet. It has made me very sad. Fishing is the only sport I can do and it's so boring. But one of my friends has suggested that we go sailing. I think I'll give it a try, because it sounds like fun. Fear. Team sports don't bother me. I'm pretty good at baseball and cricket, but I like sports more when there aren't a lot of people making noise, laughing, and telling jokes. Because of this, I like to surf. It's just me, the sea and a few other people who like peaceful, beautiful places as much as I do. For the same reason, I think I would also enjoy horseback riding and skiing, but those sports are expensive. I already spend a lot of time and money taking my board to different beaches. All right. All right. So once you have read the text for the first round, okay. you need to know what are the informations that you're going to search for. Okay, so like in this case, we're going to read the first question, which is who plans to try a new spot soon? Mm. In this kind of situations, you need to identify the keyword and the keywords here would be plans to try, which is going to happen, yeah. and then new spot soon. Okay, once you have understand the task, then we are going to go for a second reading. And for the second reading, we're going to identify the answers from both texts. We have to be careful because sometimes the answers might be the key and sometimes it could be the distractor. Okay. okay. So once you have identified the answers, okay, you need to justify whether this is the answer or whether this is the, uh, what you call it, distractor. distractor. Okay. okay. Like, in Laura's uh, statement, okay, if you look at the last line there, but one of my friends has suggested that we go sailing, I think I'll give it a try because it sounds like fun. Okay, so this sounds like it is a possible answer, mm -hmm. but don't trust your hunch too much. You need to confirm by reading the next text. Okay, you need to be able to identify the distractor as well. Right. So. In the second text, we have the last line as well. I think I would also enjoy horseback riding and skiing, but, uh, you see there, the word but, but those sports are expensive. I already spent a lot of time and money taking my board to different beaches. Mm. So we know horseback riding and skiing will not take place soon. So the best answer to this would be Laura. So Laura is going to try a new sport soon. Okay, okay. now let's give it a try, okay? Now, who only enjoys playing sports with others if they aren't too loud? Is it Laura or is it Pia? All right. Okay, kids. Now, this is your job. You have to identify who, okay, is it Laura or is it Tia, who only enjoys learning sport with others if they aren't too loud? Okay, now who do you think? enjoys playing sports with others if they aren't too loud. Is it Laura or is it Tia? All right, can you write your answers on the board? And show us on the, show yeah, us the, and show us the, the answers once you're done. Okay. 
Okay. Right. So for those watching at home, you mm. can try this activity as well. So follow follow along, follow Mr. Barry mm. along and mm. for this question, A mm. or B? Mm. Is it Laura or is it Tia? Okay. okay. So All everyone right. ready? If you're ready, just show us your answer on the camera. Mm. All right. Mm. Is it A or B? Okay, so okay. we got Akil. Tia, so Tia B, B, B. Okay, All everyone right. say it's Tia. Yeah. Now let's check the distractor and the key for this activity. Okay. All right. So basically, yep, they got, all of them got it correct. Yes. It's Tia, okay, who like to do sports, but she prefers to do it with, uh, you know, less people because she doesn't like noise and etc. Mm. But we also have a distractor, okay. For example, I play every sport. In Laura's case, I play every sport I could. I really like working out and I also like being on a team. That is a good a distractor uh, for this one. And that's also a good indicator to minus Laura as the answer. So Laura won't be the answer for this one. So Tia is the best answer. Good job, everyone. Okay. All right. Again, before we um, conclude this session, okay, yeah. we can say that uh, when you have this kind of activity, two short texts and okay. you have to uh, identify specific information, you need yep. to do the first reading and then you look at the question yeah. and then you go for the second reading because you already know the specific information yep. that you have to find. Okay. And after that, you need to justify whether it's a key or whether it's a distractor. All right. Okay. Mr. Warit, um, I'm having a lot of fun for this activity. Is it okay we do one more question? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay. Everyone? Okay, prepare your whiteboards. Okay. So what's the next question? Okay, the next question is, okay. who made a lot of friends by doing sports? Uh, is it Laura or is it Thea? Ah, mm. okay. Who a. made a lot of friends by doing sports? All right, I have my answer ready. Okay. So what about my friends on Google Meets as well as those watching at home? If you have your answer, you can show it on the camera, okay? And then yep. let's see whether we, we guess the right answer. Okay, let's see. We have Laura, we, we have Laura. Fatini Laura, okay. Ake also Laura, Ame okay, also Laura. Says everyone seems to say, to say Laura. Okay, all right, let's look at the, uh, the key and the distractor. So basically for this question, the answer would be Laura. Yes! Okay, you Good know job. why? Because Laura says, um, I really like working out and I also like being on a team. And then mm. after that, you can see parties and etc. But in Tia's case, Tia says that she also good in team sport. She did uh, baseball and cricket. But remember after that, there's a second line there. But I like sports more when there are a lot of people. Ah. So that is an indicator that Laura made more friends compared to Tia. Wow, okay. okay. So there you go. That is for our second activity for today. And Mr. Warit, how did our pupils do for this activity? Again, I think our students or our pupils did very well to identify the specific information. So they did a good job. Yeah, good job, everyone. Mm. Okay, we'll be taking a short break. So pupils watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Mr. Warit only on Slot Tahap 2, Dray TV, KPM. Did you know, dictionaries can be divided into two types which are bilingual and monolingual dictionaries. Monolingual dictionaries share all their information in one language. Bilingual dictionaries provide translation from one language into another. KPM. Hi everyone, you are watching Tahab Duo only on Didate TV KPM with me Chris MJ as well as Mr. Warit for today's lesson for Bahasa Inggris uh, Tahun Lima with the topic of sports. Hi Mr. Warit, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. Thank All you for right. asking. Oh, Mr. Warit, I just got an email oh, what uh, is it from... About? from a school in Africa. Okay. So they actually, they actually invited all of us for a friendly match for some sports. Oh, that's good. But I think we need to pick our athletes. Yeah. I mean, let's call our coaches okay. so that they help us in deciding who's going to represent our school. Okay, sure. Mm. So who are our coaches? Our coaches are our pupils. Hey, Yay. there they are. There Hi, they coaches. Are. Okay, we have four coaches today. All right. All right. Okay, so in this activity, what we're going to do is that we're going to look at the names of the activities. And the mm. names of the activities, they are not the one that we often hear. 
Okay. Okay. And because of that, we need to read the definitions of the game itself. Ah, okay. All right. All right. For example, okay, like again, in this context, we have um, we have a contact, we have a setting, which is an international school has contacted your school and asked for a friendly match. Okay, in several games, so we have to choose our athletes, and then we are going to ask our friends on the Google Meet to help us on this. Okay. Now, for example, we have Ramu is a good swimmer. He has been practicing since he was six years old. He can represent his school in that we have A, Kuogelia, and B, Piki Piki. Oh my what, God! What are those? <laughs> you still worry? Yeah, th those are the names that we we we, we have oh. never heard before, right? Those are the yeah. games that we never heard before. Okay. Okay. Now, Chris. If let's say you encounter something or new words, mm. what would you do? We would refer. I would refer to the dictionary. Yeah, to, we to definitely. Find the definition. Yes, yeah. true. That's true. So one of the skills that our kids need to be able to do is to be able to use the dictionary ah, well. Okay. okay. So uh, in this activity, we're going to refer to a dictionary, but in this case, we are going to refer to the glossary of the words itself. All right. Now let's go to the next one. Okay. So we know just now, Ramu is good at swimming. swimming. Okay, so let's read what is actually a kogelia. So kogelia is an activity where the person needs to ensure he or she arrive at the finishing point across the river. Meanwhile, for piki piki, it is an activity that involves water, and the person needs to row a small boat. To arrive at the finishing point. Mm. So, is it going to be a kogolea or is it going to be piki piki? Okay. Should we ask our coaches? Yeah, let's ask our coaches. Are they going to send Ramu to kogolea or to piki piki? Okay. So uh, A A is kogolea. Yeah. A is kogolea and B is piki piki. piki, piki. Uh, All right. Which one are you going to send Ramu to? Okay. Uh, let's go, coaches. We need your help. So A or B? Hmm. I would I would pick A. So that, yeah, yeah. Pick so that, that is my my opinion. Okay. I think Kogelia. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's see what, what the rest yeah, are. Let's, let's see what they have and then let's hear to their justification. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ah, uh, so everyone says it's Kogelia. Yeah. Okay. Fatini, are you there, Fatini? Now can you justify your answers? Why do you choose Kogelia? Um the reason why I choose Kogelia because it did uh because in the paragraph it said that um, it said uh, Ramu is a good swimmer and Kogelia means an activity where the person needs to ensure he or she arrives at the finishing point across the river. But Fatini, why not Piki Piki? Well, Piki Piki means an activity that involves water. Um, the person needs to row a small boat to arrive at the finishing point. And in the paragraph, it didn't say that Ramu uh, can, like, uh, can row a small boat. Okay, mm. good. Well done. Good justification, uh, Fatini. Good job. So definitely, the the answer for this one is Kogelea. Nice. Okay, nice. Good job, good everyone. Job, everyone. Okay. okay. Now let's go to another one. Okay. Sure. What is the other spot? So oh. Alan is one of the school handball players. Mm -hmm. He and his team have won many competitions. Okay, they can represent your school in A. Mpira wa mikono or B. Kandanda. Bira wa mikono or kendanda. Ah, right. Okay. Now let's have a look at the glossary. So, Mpira wa mikono is a team sport in which two teams of seven players each pass a ball using their hands with the aim of throwing it into the goal of the other team. Meanwhile, kendanda is a team sport with ten people on each side. Several members will act as strikers. Kicking a ball into the opponent's box to score points, the non-strikers will defend the place. Mm, mm. Okay. Do you think we should send our student just now Alan. to Empira Wamikono or to Kandanda? Okay. So okay. A is Empira Wamikono and B is Kandanda. Mm. Mm, okay. Okay. I would say I would send. Again, we have to go back to the yeah. to the, the to the statement just now. Yeah. A handball. Right. Uh, right. Okay. Right. We're playing a handball. Okay. So is it gonna be Impira Wamikono or is it gonna be Kandanda? All right. All right. So let's ask our coaches. Yeah. So, so coaches, our coaches, what do you think? 
So what do you think, coaches? Where right. should we send Allen? What, what, which spot should we send Allen for? Okay. So Akil say Mpira Wamikono. Okay. Ame also say Mpira Wamikono. And then Fatini the same as well. And Balkis the same as well. Now let's ask Akil. Akil, can you justify your answer? Why Mpira Wamikono? Why not Kandanda? <laughs> Mempira wami, mempira wami kono using hand, while kandada using feet. Oh yes, good. It's a good way of justifying. Mempira wami kono is using hands. It's a game that uses hands. Okay, but kandanda you have to use your feet to kick the ball. So definitely. The answer would be Mpira Wamikono. Wow. wow. Okay. So everyone got, got yeah. correct for this. Yeah. Suitable, right? Because yeah. Alan is he a handball player. Yeah, he's an handball player mm. and he did a good job in doing the All you know. Right. And he'll be represent uh it will be a good uh representative for Empira Wamikono. All right. So do we have another question, sir? No for this one. Oh, I so this, this is the one, final this, question. Yeah, this is the final question. All right, good job everybody. Thank yeah. you so much, coaches. So we can send these athletes for the right sport yeah. for international school uh, sports games. Mm -hmm. um, but how did our pupils do for this activity? Yeah, for this activity, uh, I think our students did a very good job. And I would like to, 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 to what you call, to give them uh, a medal. Oh, ah, wait, yes. do they have the medal? Uh, yeah, they have the medal. All so, right. Akil, please wear your medal now. Okay, yeah. congratulations okay, to One Akil. medal for you, Akil. Yeah, wow. there it is. And then for Fatini, one medal for you as well. Okay, great wow, medal. Wow, look at that. Wow. That Didet TV medal. Yeah, and then for Ame Harris, one medal for you. Show us your medal, Harris. Oh, good. Okay, let's put it on. Yeah. Okay. Ame Harris, cheer up a bit. Smile a bit. <laughs> yes, guys. <laughs> and you finally, got a medal. I did Valkis, one medal for you. All right. right. Good, good job, everybody. Good job, That's everyone. my medal. Good oh, yeah. job. I, we, we got the trophy. Yeah, right? we got the trophies. Okay. And let's do a little bit of self chat. Sure. Okay. In this episode, we have uh, covered two important learning focus. Yeah. Uh, the first one, uh, at the end of the sessions, I'm sure you can understand specific information and details of two paragraphs or more. We've talked about the strategy. Remember about setting up the using the four, uh, using the WH questions. Remember about reading for the first round, going for the questions, and going back for the second round, and finally justify your answers. Okay, and then in the second episode, in the second segment, uh, in the third segment, we look at I can use with support familiar print and digital resources to check meaning. This is where we talk about, you know, the, the unknown word mm. and the glossary as well. And they did very good job with this activity. Wow, good okay. job everyone. Good and Mr. Job, Warri, everyone. Yeah. where can we get extra materials for ah. today's lesson? Okay. If you are interested to get the materials that we use today, you can always go to the Delima portal. From there, you can download our materials. All right. And with that, um, pupils, we have come to the end of today's lesson. I'd like to say once again a big thank you to Mr. Warit for today's very, very engaging class, as well as to Mr. Adli as our sign language interpreter for today's class. And for everyone watching, don't go anywhere. We'll see you again only on D-Day TV KPM. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Yeah.